is kind of a two-hander um, picture, which means there's really only two actors in the film for most of it. Um, it's about a same-sex couple that go on their one-year anniversary, and it turns out that one of them is not at all who they claim that they've been. How'd you go by casting those two roles? Well, the lead, Brittany, um, is actually my girlfriend, who I've made three films with, and she actually composed the original score for the film as well. Um, so we have a, a, a great working relationship, um, and we... She, she had acted in Jigsaw um, with, the, with her co-star in this, but they actually didn't have any scenes together, but she remembered her, um, kind of her presence and her aura, and um, through happenstance we, we ended up getting her. And she's fantastic, Hannah Anderson. I was just going to say, which one is it? Um, so why do you guys keep working together? I mean, aside from being a couple, what is it about your professional relationship that really works? I don't know. I mean... You know, like we've kind of been perfecting the craft of making movies as in a relationship together, which is, you know, film as a whole is just such a stressful endeavor on set and such an endurance test. And you don't see it that often. Yeah, there, yeah, there's not a lot of that, but there's there's a there's a good amount. Um, I, I think we can inspire one another, and it's it's one of the benefits of actually being in a relationship with an actor is that I get to see all of her auditions that maybe other people don't see. So I see all these different sides of her playing these characters and um, it actually inspires me to write the characters for her so because she she is really talented and she's she's um, kind of a chameleon she's a character actor and she can very much transforms between role to role and she doesn't look or feel the same in any of the pictures so why did you decide on a same-sex couple um, well it, it initially I'd written the role of the psychopath for a man um, I'd written it for a close friend who I just thought was the next Patrick Bateman. And, um, you know, he ended up not able to do the project because he booked a year-long television series. So I reevaluated kind of... I had the notion that it would be an exciting opportunity to explore that, cup, that relationship in a truthful way um, while kind of subverting the expectation as well. Um, and it really is a relationship that's not about the sexuality of the couple at all. Like, she is not evil because she is a lesbian. She is evil because she is a psychopath. And it has... So, it was actually pretty easy to adapt the story, that character, from a man to a woman, which is something that I've done before in the past as well. My previous film, It Stains the Sands Red, I had originally written the lead character for a man and rewrote it for a woman. And... You know, maybe it's just because I am a guy, so picturing someone write, um, verbalizing this like intense stuff, it's coming from me when I write it, so perhaps I just see it initially as a man, but um, it's exciting to change it and see those lines delivered by a female. So. Do you think the future of horror is female? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, what does that even mean? <laughs> Yes, the future of everything in cinema is female at this point. I hope that, uh, I feel like right now in cinema it's an exciting time, for, especially for young girls that are growing up because they're starting to finally have um, women who they can aspire to be who are in the field of, of creating. Um, there's, you know, when I grew up, I could only name one female director and that was Catherine Bigelow. Now there's plenty of um, women that are directing fantastic films across all genres, so hopefully we start to see um, the next generation um, inspired by those women. Just really quickly, uh, what's up next? Um, well, I just, I just wrote and I co-wrote and produced a brand new film that um, we, we just wrapped a week ago called Z. And um, nobody's, act I don't even think it has an IMDb page yet, but um, it's about an eight-year-old boy who develops an imaginary friend and the imaginary friend may or may not be real. Yeah. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one, so thank you so much for having me. Good luck, obviously.